Hi everyone, this is JD, your gadget review friend. We're continuing to review and compare devices and you can check these updates on our Twitter community at GadgetRev now. We're taking some time off reviewing phones and talking about photography and today we will answer a great question for Android users. Will Pixel Camera make a cheap phone better? Part of the channel's awesome series is called Tips and Tricks and today we're doing a side-by-side -side test between the native camera app and the Pixel Camera. If you go to the XDA developers website, you will see a lot of developers porting the Pixel Camera. So, we downloaded the most recent ported Pixel Camera and we will compare this to the phone's native camera app. I will link the Pixel Camera APK below. Today on this experiment, we're using the Xiaomi Poco F3 because it's a great phone with a cheap price tag, around $300. It uses the Snapdragon 875 g which is supported by Pixel Camera and I thought that extra boost of performance might be useful. I wonder if we install the Pixel Cam, will this become a thousand dollar phone? That's the question we will answer today. Hey, don't forget to subscribe my friend. Let's go! So on your left will be the native camera app and on the right will be the Pixel Camera app. On our first photo, we took a shot of our living room. Without cropping the photo, it's almost the same shot for both the native app and the Pixel camera. But if you zoom in, I think the native camera app manages the highlights a little bit when you look at the tree and the green fence outside the window. Zooming into the floors, the native camera app is sharper and the colors are natural looking. And if you crop in 500%, both photos are decently sharp. Almost the same look, so it's a tie for me. Next, we took a photo of these peppers and tomatoes. Again, without cropping, looks like the same photo, but cropping it 100 to 500%, you will notice that the native app is brighter than Pixel Camera app. It's the same look, so it's a tie for me. Going outdoors to a well-lit environment, we shot this broken pot and the algorithm is the same. The native app is brighter than Pixel Camera, but no major differences. Going to the next photo, I shoot random colorful things and we're beginning to see the trend. The native app of Poco F3 is more saturated than the algorithm of the Pixel camera. I think for most situations, the native app is better looking so the native app is the winner here. Next is greenery and sky. If you've been to my camera comparison videos, I love the more saturated look of the nature because it's livelier but that's just me. So going to this test, I know what I'm looking for. The native app is punchier than Pixel Camera. In fact, the Pixel Cam is dull looking. Going to the next photo, well, it's not so bad for the Pixel Camera, although admittedly, the native app is really good. One good thing about the native app is the AI. Artificial intelligence is kicking in and giving the native app a color boost. So the native app is the winner here. Next test is portrait shot, though there's no human or person on this photo. I wanted to see how well both camera app cuts out the subject. So I think this is where the pixel camera will have the advantage. The cutout of the native app is not so accurate, but the pixel camera is dead on. The background blur of the native app is better, though I think pixel cam looks better. So pixel cam is the winner here. Hey, if you're enjoying this, we're making more videos like this in the future. Please hit the subscribe button to see more videos like this. Next is text sharpness. On this photo, both are similar looking. The texts are sharp, but I noticed on the native app, there's an extra sharpness being applied. While on pixel camera, it is natural looking. Either way, both looks really awesome. So it's a tie for me. Next is portrait shot and two different implementation. Let's tackle first the small difference. The native app has a wider field of view than the pixel camera. Now going back to the implementation, the native app is somehow doing beautification while pixel camera sharpens the image. I love a sharper selfie photo but not to the extent that it ruins how you look. I know sharper images are manly but if it's super aggressive, you look older too. Now looking at this test, same camera, different implementation, no bias, would you rather go for the native app or the pixel app? Leave your comment below. Next is rear camera portrait shot and same with selfie camera, the native app has a wider field of view. Cropping both image, this is an easy call, I think the native app is sharper, brighter and overall better looking. The pixel cam is too dark and soft for me. The native app is the winner here. Next is night shot and we're starting indoors. 
Here you will notice that the white balance on pixel camera is a bit off. It's purplish. Both camera manage to brighten the photos and if we zoom in, the pixel camera is smoother than the native app. There's a bit of noise on the native app but given the white balance issue which the developers can easily tweak, the native app is still the winner here. Next is Night Shot Outdoors. Here you'll notice that the pathway on pixel camera is brighter and the overall photo is cooler. The native app is warmer and if we zoom in, the native app is definitely sharper than pixel camera. I know we're downloading the pixel camera for the night shot purpose but you really have to test the pixel camera app you installed if it produces a better low light image than the native app. The native app is still the winner here. Now we're moving on to the video test. This is Poco F3's native app. Uh, we're doing it indoors because I need the light and the low light condition as you can see. Uh, we're also switching from front camera to rear camera to see if the pixel cam is better than uh, the native app. So this is the daylight condition and this is the low light condition for the native app. As you can see here. And then we're switching to the pixel camera. So this is the pixel camera. Again, this is the daylight shot and this is the low light condition. We will do a side by side of both cameras. As you can see here. And then the daylight again. And now we're switching to the rear cameras. This is the vlogging test. This is Pogo F3's native app, the rear camera. So this is the daylight condition and this is the low light condition. So I can see myself, so I hope I'm in focus. This is against the light. And we're going back to the daylight condition. Now we're switching to the pixel camera. Now this is the pixel camera, this is the daylight condition, and this is the low light condition. Again, we're shooting against the light. Let me know which is better. Now we're going back to the daylight condition. We're also testing the camera outdoors. This is Poco F3's native app in low light condition. And now we're switching to the Pixel Cam. Now this is the video recording test for the Pixel Cam in low light condition. On our video test, shooting both indoors and outdoors, I don't see much of a difference between the native app and pixel cam, so it's a tie for me. So what is our takeaway? Pixel camera on a cheap phone. I hope this video enlightens a lot of you. The pixel camera app, I think it's just another camera app you can download on Play Store. Maybe there are better ones out there, but there's so many pixel camera that you will probably end up downloading the same camera app that I used. I will not recommend the pixel camera. If you have a dedicated portrait and night shot function on the native app, it might turn out better. And I will recommend the pixel camera for older phones that doesn't have portrait and night mode. You might find this useful. Pixel camera is good but the native app are better in most cases. Instead of using the pixel cam, try to use the pro mode or manual mode or learn how to post process your photos. Try editing it on Snapseed or Lightroom. The ported pixel camera is good, but honestly, it's no better than the native camera app. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. We're posting videos of gadget reviews, comparisons, photography gears, and tips. The goal of this channel is to review and compare devices as simple as possible, concise, and friendly. Don't forget to drop your comment, like, and share. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.